So a lot of we have been like wondering where actually the problems of that country is coming from. And majority of us have agreed to the fact that bad governance is the majority. But I also want to tell Sierraleans today that there is another portion that is responsible for what Sierraleans are going through today. There is another portion that has connived with the government to dupe the people of that country. Let me take you to this particular body or this particular portion is no less a portion but the religious council. Let me take you through. When we are talking about demonstration, that demonstration is a right of the people. That is true. It is their right to demonstrate as long as they use the right method. How many of us also know the fact that when it comes to the total population of that country, Christianity and Islam have occupied almost the majority more than even the SLPP and APC. Because the majority of the SLPP belong to the Christianity or Islam. Now, you and I have seen what you aliens have been going through in terms of bad governance, extrajudicial killing, corruption, violation of human rights. And when people have been doing this fight on social media, some people on different ways, when have you ever seen the religious camps, be it Islam or Christianity, join us? They have never done that. I want to ask you this question. Are they not human beings? Are they not in Sierra Leone? Are they not feeling what the people of that country are feeling? Are they not going through the same thing? Are they not, are we not all the, when we are saying this country is hard, are they not feeling it? They are feeling it. But let me shock you why they have refused to say anything about it. This is because they are collecting bribes. This is because they are collecting brown envelope. And let me tell you one thing. This thing where we can say, uh, uh, nobody not for go politics na mocks. Nobody not for go politics na church. We are not talking about taking politics to church or mocks. We are talking about preaching the right thing in the churches and mocks that is going wrong in the politics today affecting the lives of Sierra Leoneans. Now, if we are talking about demonstration, the religious council, everybody will be minding their business. You only discover that then people there will only talk about issues like that when their names are mentioned. I remember the last time when Chief Minister said some imam, uh, pastors there were imams in the chief line. Sheikh Farouk grabbed. Boop. He said, oh, now they think they are king. May God they eat fitting. I tell and say, Sheikh Farouk, God not they eat fitting after nobody because you know why. Not only now where they don't call imams say, you fit say God they eat fitting. What about the extrajudicial killing? What about the bad governance? What about the times uh, or countless numbers when Sierra Leoneans and try for demonstrate? What did you people do? Did you tell them in the mocks that it is their right? Did you preach it in church that it is their right? Did you preach it in church and mocks is that what the government of the day is doing against the people of that country is wrong? And you'll be like, no, no, if they talk about it, this government will take them to prison. So who now do you want to talk about the problem of that country to go to prison? Who? Because I thought these are the institutions, religious institutions, where they tell you, say, you must speak the truth no matter what it takes. God always deals with people where they speak the truth. The truth, now you for speak because now in the last and now in the set you free. What is wrong with them? Are they not part of the truth? Are they limited with the truth? These are people that will refuse to preach to churches and mosques, telling the people their responsibility, joining them to demonstrate, that, like advising them, giving them motivation how they should not give up and preach to the government of the day how wrong they are doing, how wrong they are going against the people of that country. They will never do it. Look at Nigeria. When a demonstration was going on, you see series of religious leaders joining the youth to demonstrate. That will never happen in Sierra Leone because nobody wants to be considered as an opposition. Oh yes, now so we don't take that country. Say anybody will speak the truth, anybody will stand for the truth. Now opposition today, if we meet today in a different WhatsApp group, then they say my TV is APC TV, APC, and it's so frustrating when you see comments like this coming from the youth of that country, and you get gullible people on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on different comment session, blabbing on the comment session without practical manifestation. How do you guys think we'll fix that country? With your comments on WhatsApp, with your comments on YouTube, with your comments on Facebook or TikTok, we need to do something practical, something beyond. The same way how this government or their politicians, they, are, they take the game to it, and that's why we will take the game to them. Look at Kenya. When they see say, what William Ruto is doing is totally against the people of Kenya, it, was, it did not come by party, religion, or region. They put it up to themselves and say, we are the problem of what is going on now. If we are ready to fix it, we will put stop to it now. 
This is the same thing we will expect Sierra Leone and them to do. When you call for demonstration, you think that 20 people will go, 300 people, that is not a demonstration. These religious institutions that are there to help the people say, let we go out and we numbers. I don't talk this thing. Soldier and police get number and caliber of people where they be shotgun at. If they see Sheikh Farouk, they see Pastor Mambu, they see different, different people. On demonstration, let me see who we shoot. These pastors, they get powers for call, uh, how they call it? Uh, how they call this thing? Waking or prayers night. The imams, yeah, they get power for gather people, but they don't get the power for speak to the government of the day. The wrong things they wouldn't be doing. For tell the people, say, we're ready for the part of Una. For end the nonsense in this country. They will never do it. But once their names are called, now they tell them the court Bible. Now they tell them the court Quran. Say, God will punish this. God not they punish anybody. I don't repeat this talk. God is not from your village. They were under the cartoon God as masquerade or cacanable. That is not who God is. You know they use God for scared people. You they preach God to people as love, not to as masquerade. Now so I don't make God today. And then they talk about the wrong doing. So when they do, now they threaten people. Now this name, God will not distress us a person at the Quran. He distresses us a person. Probably that person will do one with another motive. But what we are saying here, you people, you the imams, you the pastor, you are the problems of that country. The same way how we blast for politicians, the same way how they blast for the government of the day, now the same way for the blast on You know why? The reason why they make a uh, religious council or inter-religious council in that country, now for long, they help for the correct government, the angle where they go wrong, for help for the advice them. When I want to say, when I know the sweating, they go on. When I want to say, the software where people they go on, where, they, where people they go through in that country, I know they say, when are they see them? But just because you don't want to be tagged, when I don't collect money, we will not say that they give our money in a state house, we know. And when they come on, when they tell people the nonsense, eh, let's read a fact about this country, eh, pray and fast, speak in tongues for this country, you are deceiving yourself. Because not to God, when they deceive. In the Bible, Jesus Christ goes scatter people in the market, say because they don't corrupt in Papa in temple. And the Bible tells you, say, your body is the temple of God. So which literally means we for join all of the people the way they come up for the demonstrate the right way. One of the pastors, one of the imams, the same one that they preach about heaven and this, and the same one for the preach about bad governance. When it is time for demonstration, when I join with on a tell on a churches and mosques, on an announcer, say this Friday, if not the Muslim that they demonstrate, we are going to demonstrate against bad governance. This Sunday, we are going to demonstrate against bad governance. This Monday, Christian, Muslim, when they go demonstrate, if we begin to do this thing, you will find out, say, even SLP, you know, they get choice, then they go generally for demonstrate. Even APC, you know, they get choice, then they go demonstrate. Because you know what? If they're not afraid their party, they go afraid God. They go afraid the religion. Because whether you like it or not, some SLP, you know, APC, you know, you know, Muslim or Christian. So SLP or APC, you know, Muslim or Christian. So when we do this, we will able to fight them people there. But we on a day, we are not the talk. We are going to go back and say no to homosexual in Mount Torrey. It's good to demonstrate against it. Because God wants to destroy a generation for that. But at the same time, let me not also for forget, say, every single thing we want for fix for that country, we should start with bad governance. And doing this thing, it is the collective responsibility of every single person. Now, you make a context for some of them. On all, on a book, on a book, on a comment section. Some of them are not even shame. Some of them are not even afraid on an instinct. We are not even shame on our instinct. You don't know, comment on YouTube for the past two years. Where has that taken you? All okay, kind blah, 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 blah. It's not for propaganda. No, it's true. They have evidence. I'm living in USA. I'm living in California. I'm living in China. Okay, you are living there. We know we, we are living in Africa. What have you done beyond that? When Kenyans we are ready, then take the game beyond the comment session. Then take the game beyond the comment session. But then imams there, they go sit down. Then pastors there, they go sit down. Government, they torture the people of that country. Prices, they go up. Corruption, they take everywhere. They, they bulldoze against the freedom of people. They sit down and they're going to preach to people. Uh, God said, my brother, let me tell you one thing. You see this heaven one that they preach to people. If you don't organize and shape in people, they're not they go heaven. 
All the prophet on the switch one below they say be poor. When they say a dirty box, they be picking food for it. One on one dupe the people for take offering or collection around and say, eh, everything, eh, God say, any good Muslim, you have your goodness and your enjoyment are helpful. They would have tell you that one day. Uh, the Bible said, as a faithful Christian, uh, your heaven is would I tell you that one day? These are ways, but then get motokao, they get house it so then they fight for put them picking up a big scholarship. They imam said their pastors said these are the major problems we have in that country. If we begin shame them a public so it go the same way they shame the government of the day, they will take shame. Now, so they can frustrate to you if they say, Wait, why do you have no street? Why do you play to here? Why do you put that toe? Go to anybody, no, for change yourself. The way we make you, oh, the Bible said it, they go call blah 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 blah. But they will not quote inside the Bible, say, Do not combat the neighbor's property. Waiting the government of the day to do so. Now, combating the combat property will belong to we all. Do not, thou shalt not steal. Now, the government of the day to do that, people. Thou shalt not kill. Now, the government of the day to do people. All the other commandments, they, they, they will not talk about it. If not me, you because then they find out, say, now we're vulnerable. Now, when they talk, now we we'll go put offering. Now we we'll go put this shame on all of Una, the imams and pastors in that country. When I don't make this thing so fearful to the extent people don't lost their senses, they don't even know you are the fault. When I say people don't talk about politics in church and mocks, the last election we see politicians going to churches and mocks. What are they doing there? Which one of us to you what happened? Them? Which one of us will stand and say, No, we are not preaching, we are not allowing you people here. God the house not for politics. When it comes to speaking the truth, God the house is not for politics. If this Imam talks so, then go crying on a pandemic. So now we for the talk, let we go pandemba. As if Salona with Papa in property. So I want to see where for begin reason. The Imams there, then pastors there. The reason why we have Islamic Council, Christianity Council. Or however, council in column, it is to help as intermediary between the people and the government for complain. We say the government they go wrong. Let them advise them, preach them based on what's in the Bible and based on what's in the Quran. Why you think say Christ say he asked, he say would I get this coin? They say now Caesar. They say give what belongs to Caesar and let Caesar give what belongs to the people. The government of the day will they give the what it belong to them. Would they go vote for them? Would they give Caesar what it belong to Caesar? Would they turn up in a queue? Would they register? Would they vote for them? Then why would they for do as a government the responsibility? They know they don't have. We are giving what belongs to Caesar, but Caesar is holding what belongs to us. And you people are not talking about it. You keep talking about things that will distract people to give you more offering, more this. Now I don't tell you now. You see some of these imams and these pastors, they are lucky with some of them they do in that country. So God don't begin to disgrace them. Now someone be the frustrated me now. Oh, if you see me in the morning, oh, more you get at all, I go agree. More you know for do this, I go agree. I'll say, sir, now you to my age, I go change. You know, as a young man, I just grew up, I go repent. Be your people in girl picking small one with the gear. For let go, they go land can they depend, it depend, you understand? It depend not come. One day God come up behind him as the picky enter to an end, they can't call the picky mama. They meet check no way through this by say pass we wrong. Now I say when I see we will get earring tattoo and no string. When I say God don't say if you do say they go do this to hell, they go do this to hell. We on our only outside idea now to we say we do one. We don't harm another person. Una some of the major crime when a fornication now in the get you pass. So imagine you they make you they take advantage of person. How is that crime to God? So that is how they are frustrating us. Now make me I know they list these people. Because a lot of them today, what they for preach, they know they preach and they look for vulnerable people. So if you want to affect the problem of that country, so these imams and these pastors, they are part of the problem of that country. If anybody is not telling you this, that is the truth. If they begin to a demonstration, if they begin to preach the wrongdoing of the government, the same way that they preach heaven and earth, the problem of that country will be this. But how they would do one? Some of them, their names are already in the book. You understand? Now, state house, now parliament, they already know them by their names. Nobody's face wants to be shown. When I don't see who's not they succeed, because the number of people we want to be outside the streets of Freetown for demonstration, we will only get that number from Christianity and Islam, from churches and mosques. So, if this imam, if these pastors, if they don't come to their right senses and do it for the sake of God, 
to help the people of that country to fight bad governance, injustice, increment in price commodity, extrajudicial killing, trampling of our freedom, uh, of our freedom of speech. We know we will fix that country because one man cannot do it all. Remember, when Unawafo do something, God is always looking at the number of the majority. If 500 thieves decide for come together for prayer and let them go succeed for break a house, and you, a single soul, decide for prayer against them, you know the work. Because God said he didn't look at the side of the majority, irrespective of what they pray for. So the same thing with the blast for President Bill, in a corrupt government, and the same for the blast for them corrupt imams that wouldn't turn themselves to politicians. Why the people of that country, they cry. People, they prison. Innocent souls are gone. They will never talk about it. No, God said enough for talk about her. But now then they say thou shalt not kill. So which of the killing won't have for talk about? The one way now me do person in I own for talk about the way government they do not for talk about them. The God said not for talk about Quran said not for talk about Bible said not for talk about. But people are not paying attention to this thing. And a lot of if you talk, I say it's a taboo. I don't tell Una. I go today, now go now you take me. Not to mortal man. It's better to die for something than to live for nothing. But the imams of that country. The pastors of that country are just gullible human beings that are present that are presenting themselves in a form of religion that is helping the government of the day to loot the people of that country in the name of religion, in the name of peace. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something that a lot of you are not paying attention to. The fact that then they do the wrong thing, they're not the great for law who pay attention to that they create fear that we mind. Then they make themselves so fearful that if you talk about the body of Christ, touch not my anointing. Touch not my anointing when you are doing the right thing, not when you are doing the wrong thing. No! No way! Give what belongs to Caesar and let Caesar give what belongs to the people. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not combat the neighbor's property. Thou shalt not kill. This is what our politicians are doing against us. What happened to that part in the Bible that you are not preaching about? Or do you think it's only limited to we the ordinary people without power? This now they talk. When they talk about this, now who are the first? No, why you know they talk about this? No, why you know they talk about this? Why you know they tell you pastor for the talk about them? You think say the heaven or hellfire? Now only for me or you, the same way I did for me or you, and the same way they for a pastor so, and the same way they for a imam so. So if we talk about the problem to that country, my brother, they are part of it. They are part of it. If these people have, have been speaking against this thing, bulldozing against it, joining the people to demonstrate, it will reduce. But at the same time, every, we say standing for the truth comes with a lot of price to pay. They will lose them brown envelope. Most of them are involved in halaki things there, where government gets uh, evidence against them. They only know all them because now then they back them up for the looks of the people. Once they stand against them, they will begin to use the right procedure against them. Like they always say, you cannot change a corrupt society you have already been part of. This is what our, our imams and pastors are doing. So let us don't blame them. But if we insult the president, you, if we insult the government, if we insult the imams and pastors, they are for failing to tell them the truth, for failing to preach the people, for failing to preach to the people the right thing that, that they, they are supposed to do in order to eradicate bad governance. If not to so, eh, if only they concentrate on government, government is me and you. Now we put them people the day. If we create forces to fight against them, we they eradicate them seconds. So this is what we need to supposed to be doing now. Let us share this video so that these gullible human beings in form of pastors and, 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 and imams that are chasing all the things presented themselves to us as saints, these are the people that are joining politicians to loot that country. Like one man said, he said, religion in Africa, there are two types of thieves in Africa. Number one, politicians that are converting the people's resources, the country resources, are, that, are, that are converting the country's resources and suit it for their own interest gain. And imams and pastors that are religious people presented itself in the form of saying, using the religion to be collecting from the people, in another words, looting from them. These are the two problems we have. And that is what we have in Sierra Leone right now. Sierra Leone is not an exception. So if we are fighting bad governance, we also will see these imams and pastors have a role to play, not just to collect brown envelope. Thanks for watching.
and I will see you in the next video. Power to the people. Follow, like, comments, and subscribe for more.